morning guys aka dr six's instagram my name is jordy aka jordy dix on instagram i'm popping on here and i'm going to be taking over the instagram today because i'm going to answer your questions about breast augmentation i'm going to talk about my recovery kind of why i made this decision as well and any tips that i've learned along the way because i've documented my entire journey through this process because i thought it would be really cool to document it because there's a lot of uh videos out there on youtube but not a lot kind of breaking the ins and outs of everything down and I wanted to make sure that women in general had the opportunity to have information about the entire process so I thought I would come on here today and just chat with you guys and uh, answer any questions that may be lingering in your head. I wanted to break down why I got my breast augmentation surgery so for me I'm a bikini athlete and last year I did my first competition and I went from like a stable normal body uh, fat percentage to very low body fat percentage and I had lost all my boobs and felt like cardboard box and I had already been self-conscious about my uh, breasts for about five years prior and last year was kind of that tipping point for me after that I had actually seen one of my best friends got her boobs done by dr. six and a couple other girls that I had reached out to as well recommended him profusely so I decided to reach out have a consultation sit down have a chat and explain like why I wanted it the reasons why how I want them to look and everything like that and nurse Kim and everyone at the clinic were so helpful and Dr. Six was absolutely unreal and he helped me kind of pick my size and everything like that for what I wanted to accomplish and yeah so now I have them but um I wanted to talk about the entire process and any questions you may have so I'm gonna do that right now for me it's almost been three months of my boobs being done and I'm honestly so happy with the progress now I'm also doing some treatments every single day after I shower which is what I just did um which is a scar away treatment so is basically silicone scar sheets you place the little bandage underneath your boob so aka where my scar incision is and basically they stay there and they help heal the scar and make it go away another thing that really has helped me is bio oil um, I've used this every single day in the morning and at night to help heal my scar as well because I actually learned that that helps heal scars really really quickly as well so those are just some tips for um, kind of scar reduction and the process of that because as an athlete and kind of showing a lot more of my body I want to make sure that those scars are quite hidden and with the tiny scar incision I already have like a small tiny scar but I just want to minimize that as much as possible so basically I took a full four weeks off completely I only did steps and cardio but I started including fitness and training back into my regime at that four week period I started with lower body really kind of my way into it and just easing into it um, not doing anything crazy and then fully into upper body at six weeks and now I'm totally good lifting as heavy as I possibly can my body composition I actually lost five pounds while I was recovering from my breast augmentation surgery I'm in off season so it wasn't the happiest moment of my life losing weight but I lost weight while I was resting and it honestly made me feel as well because you already feel a slightly bloated after surgery as the inflammation and stuff like that so the fact that my body was um responding in a way of like decreasing weight was quite interesting and i wasn't mad about it my breast implants feeling heavy they don't anymore whatsoever they just feel a part of my body but when i came out of surgery it felt like so much pressure on my chest because your body is just adjusting to something that is completely foreign to it so it's normal to feel that right after surgery believe that it is possible to have children that you need to lift in and out um, you need someone there with you because you're not supposed to be lifting anything whatsoever because that could damage your implants and it could seriously damage you as well so I would recommend if you have someone have them there For training purposes pre and post-op I am NOT going to be training chest whatsoever as a bikini athlete I actually do not need to train chest I didn't do it much before I maybe did one exercise a week and post-op I really do not want to affect my implants whatsoever so um, if I feel any movements within my chest, I'm done right away. I just stop it completely because I do not want to take the risk of ever damaging them. Um, honestly, they are super important to me and I just want to treat them as best as possible. My implants are under the muscle. I just feel like they look more natural and they sit nicer as well. Over the muscle, I don't like as much the look personally, um, but I got 450cc silicone high profile implants my workouts I have felt my implants a little bit on a shoulder or push days so that's when I'm like pressing overhead or doing like a tricep extension or anything like that I felt it a little bit and I 
if I feel it, I stop right away just because I don't want to cause any damage. During my workouts, I have felt my implants a little bit on a shoulder or push days. So that's when I'm like pressing overhead or doing like a tricep extension or anything like that. I felt it a little bit and I, if I feel it, I stop right away just because I don't want to cause any damage. Now my front side back anywhere and be totally comfortable so just know that it is just a matter of kind of feeling it out and waiting for your body to recover with your implants the problem with my incision was on my right incision and basically what had happened was is that it wasn't just fully closing because one of my stitches had actually um, ruptured during the healing process i'm not sure why or what happened things happen no matter what but it just wasn't fully healing so i got it checked out here in the uk by one of dr six's colleagues and we made sure that everything was fine and within a week of seeing the other doctor um i was all good and healed so um everything was totally fine Walking into my sizing appointment, I wanted to make sure I got the best size possible. So the doctors recommended going one size bigger than I wanted just because they know that a lot of girls after surgery, after the inflammation goes down, that they regret not going bigger. So I decided on one size bigger than I was comfortable with. And I'm honestly grateful for it because if it wasn't for their advice, I probably would have gone smaller and would have wanted to go bigger. So um, highly recommend always choosing one size bigger.